Hello everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Jan Dark. Today, we're going to be heading into the Paris Warren. Now, there's two sort of scenarios that can happen af after this battle. Uh, there's like two different levels that we can go to, but there's not a chance to save. At least, I don't think we get the chance. So, I will be showing them both off. Um, I'll, this one will probably be more closer to uh like during the current playthrough rather than post game but uh yeah huh for whatever reason like what this reminds me of that uh one area in paper mario actually with, uh, God, it was like the sand level, or the sand area. Like, everything here just reminds me of that. Yeah, he, I mean, he does have a pretty awesome looking beard. I wish I had that beard. <laughs> just kidding. I think... I think if I had a beard that long, I'd probably go insane. Again. Yeah. It's always their fault. At least in this game. Oh, now that's garbage. That ain't right. What uh, the Cubs said. Not that it's correct, but, like, it's just... They didn't do nothing. I guess they're just neutral about everything. Say what? Oh. It brings up a point. No, you're not. I'm just surprised people know. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> of course. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, do you? That's what we asked. Oh my god. I can actually take this deer seriously instead of those weird ones that we were fighting earlier. Oh, wonderful. You're... Uh, it's always the English. Okay, so we gotta defeat all the enemies here, which shouldn't be that difficult, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, I kind of pre-equipped everybody off-screen with stuff I wanted. I gave uh, Jan attack plus 20... Uh, Beatrix, Meteor Bolt, you know, for the most part, not a lot changed. Uh, I ended up giving Rose HP Recovery 2 instead of the Defense plus 3. Um, Rufus is the same. G, I just switched to Thunderbolt 2. I might even switch that now. Uh, let's see, what else? I, I just gave Gene some skills to make him look less empty. Uh, QE system didn't change anything, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't do all that much. So... 
I'm going to have Kalei start here just because he has the easiest time with these uh, Crow Knights here. So that's why I want him there. And then down here, uh, let's see. Kind of want Jeel and how about Richard? And then over here, I want Rufus because he's got a clear shot of an ogre or Cyclops, excuse me. Uh, then who else? I could add some. Like I have like three possible choices: either Qesis, uh, Rose, or Beatrix. Um, probably going to stick with Qesis here. And then just have Rose or Beatrix. Actually, I think Beatrix would be a better choice just for this round. Uh, just because of her excellent ranged attacks. And let me also just change her skills really quick if I need to. Um, an MP boost. And then I think that's pretty much all I want to do. Okay, so we are ready to go. Do -do. Oh my god, I love this battle theme. For whatever reason. Ooh, item. I need to get that, probably. I don't think any of these items are necessarily required. Like, they're not missable. So I'm not too concerned. Aw, oh, dang it. I don't have enough MP for two hits. Ha! Oh, nice. Alright, Koei. Good job. Uh... Can you attack him? Yes, you can. Nice job. Uh, yeah. Helm splitter. Ah, oh, crap. I can't. <laughs> okay, in that case, I'll just have him go here. Uh, no need to fight him head on. Oh. Oh, God. He actually got hit for once. That's surprising. Um, well, I mean by a Cyclops, that is. And I cannot do anything with Qesis, so I'll just have him heal Rufus, just because I don't want them to start ganging up on Rufus. That would be very bad, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, let's see, Jeel and Richard. Richard should be able to use a Thunderbolt, right? And then Jeel also has Thunderbolt. It should be more than enough, I would think. As long as this does 124 at the very least. Ooh! Better. Nice job, Richard. Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah. Let's go right here. Oh, God. That's why I gave him a regular Thunderbolt. Please do nine more damage. Oh, my God, Jeel. You're amazing. And we got a lot of the skills, like Spirit Sword. Although I don't really need Spirit Sword. It is nice to have. Um, especially for binding skills. Uh... I guess from these Cyclopses, I'd like to get the HP recovery too. Um, I guess the Desperation 3 from these guys. I actually fused a Desperation 3 off screen with something. I think it was like accuracy plus 20. <gasps> Hallelujah. Holy crap. They've got mobility plus ones. Oh my god. I really need some of those. So once I, once they get into the like main area here, I'm definitely going to be using Skill Shakedown. I really wish I brought in Rose now, <laughs> but oh well, it's too late. Because to be honest, Rose might actually have been wombo comboed. Just because she's not that high of a level. Only level 44, and most of these enemies I think are like level 45 at the very least. I mean, at least these Cyclopses are, so probably wouldn't, wouldn't have been that safe. Um, but I guess we'll never know. Ha ha! You suck. Freaking crow leader trying to gang up on Kolei. No, that it doesn't work like that. No. Okay, what's next? Okay, you're moving this way. I like it. I like it. I gotta take out the Cyclops, though, as soon as I can. At least one of them. I need to take out something. Might actually end up being that. F yeah, it's going to be that first wyvern that's in the battlefield. Just because that's the enemy that's closest in range. Dang it! This is not my day. I mean, it started out okay. But 
then Qesis and Rufus keep getting hit by Cyclopses. I mean that that's no good. Uh, again, I want to take out the Cyclops if I can. Unfortunately, Qesis doesn't have enough uh, whatever it's called. I think it's SP in this game uh, to uh, use his uh, armlet because then it would work out, but he doesn't. So, and an HP recovery, all because you leveled up. <laughs> That's literally it. All right, what's next? Here, yep. another HP recovery. And then, again, my main focus right now is probably that first Cyclops that I've done some decent damage to. Uh, let's see, what can I do this turn? I definitely can get to the Wyvern with Jeel, but... I think I can get to the Ceratoth with Geo if I really wanted to. Um, I'm going to wait and see on some of these. But Beatrix... Uh, no. <laughs> no physical attack for you. Or Meteor Bolt. Let's go with Meteor Bolt. That was... I don't understand why that does so much better than all her other attacks, but I'm certainly not complaining. I mean, she does have range plus one, but that really doesn't affect the strength of the attack, so uh, I don't know. Let's see, Kalei. I'm gonna skip out on this treasure for now, just because I can get a head start on the Wyvern. Now, do I attack regularly? I think I should. Just so that... Oh, I didn't give Kalei skill shakedown. Whoops! <laughs> Okay, well, that's a bit of a problem. Um, so, in that case, I can pretty much just go with whoever I want. Uh, yeah, let's take out the Cyclops first and foremost. Because this guy, although the low accuracy, can do the most damage. And we have two of them. <laughs> so, I really gotta watch out. And you missed. Thank God. Okay. Okay. This ought to be enough. Oh, yeah. Huh. That sound effect Qesis makes when he attacks kind of sounds like Spyro. Not like from the PS1 games, but like from uh, the Game Boy Advance games. At least it sounds like that to me. I don't know about you, but... Uh, that's just something I noticed. And damn. He, would, he did a lot less damage than I thought he would. Huh. Okay, Jan. What did I give? Just triple slash? Okay. Let's see. How much will Triple Slash do? Oh. It's not guaranteed. But what the heck. I'll go for it. Can't hurt. Actually, it could. Because <laughs> we only have 12 turns for this battle, which honestly isn't that bad. Uh, because a lot of these enemies are just, like, being aggroed by everybody. So, I, I'm not too concerned about running out of turns. Uh... Which is a good thing, because I remember when I did uh, Raylamont, um, the free stage a while back, um, I kind of messed up on a uh, recording I had of it, and I ended up basically just scrapping that whole footage because of the 40 turns you got in that level, I used about <sighs> over 20. Definitely over 20, I know that. Uh, so, and there was a better way to do it, too. So, I just, uh, I did that. And please don't hit Beatrix. Dang it, Bobby! <laughs> That's not good. At least, uh, Richard has heal. So, you know, I can heal, but please. Uh, Qesis. <laughs> please counter. Please. Yeah! <laughs> That was the best thing that could have possibly happened right there. Now, I really need the Ceratoth on Rufus's side to attack Rufus. I mean, do I think he'll hit um, Qesis even if he goes after him? Probably not. But I'd rather be safe. Oh, he's actually going to use Mighty Roar? Yeah. Please miss. Thank God. <laughs> okay. It looks like this turn I'm going to have uh, Qesis transform, actually. 
Uh, I mean, for one, he can. And two, he's low on HP. Three, that enemy right there is extremely close to death. Transform! I'm a transforming frog! Bet you didn't see that coming! <laughs> oh, oh my god. Kiresis just looks so funny in his uh, armor. Uh, oh, 85? I don't like that. How about a flash of white? Just to even the odds. <laughs> there. Oh, 165. That was more than enough, but whatever. Okay. Um, now what do I go for? Ooh, a level up. Nice. Almost level 50. Man, this is probably the most balanced I've ever had a strategy RPG. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. What can I do? Ooh. Can a Helm Splitter guarantee a hit? Yep. I'll use some MP on that. Dang it, Bobby! Uh, I was afraid of that. I really was. Uh, let's see. Can I just attack two hits? Come on. Please don't get countered on this. <laughs> Please. Yeah! Nice job, Kole. And... Eh, those were mass skills. I didn't really care if I got those or not. Let's see, what can I do here? It looks like a triple slash is my best attack for this scenario. Just because I can attack from behind. Please. Yes! Okay, come on, mobility plus one. Yes! I got it. That is definitely one of the best skills I could possibly get right now. Just because, you know, Rufus, he needs it, you know, I mean, okay, oh, dang it, I have to move up one more space. I mean, that's not a big deal, but I really didn't want to. Um, oh, I still can't attack him? Really? Huh. What about, no, not Ice Bullet, I, it would actually be better for me to use Fireball. Um, but is that even worth it? That's the question, because, I mean, if Geo can't one-hit this guy from behind with a ton of damage. Okay, 103. Decent. Decent. Um, in fact, I can honestly save Beatrix one more turn of healing, uh, just because there's really no enemies nearby uh, that I'm really concerned about. The Cyclopses, if anything, are going to attack Geo. Just because he, for one, he's the closest, and two, um, they can't even move that far. So, I think I'm pretty good with, uh, Jill where he is, um, because, and then Beatrix where she is. Um, in this case, however, I'm, I am going to move this way, just to, uh, make sure I can take out the Ceratoth. Alright, so far so good. Taking out a couple enemies this turn. Real nice, real nice. And then, who am I going to go for with uh, Qesis? Probably the other Ceratoth on this side. Um, just because the Cyclops is going to be healing next turn anyway. I just want to take that guy out basically in one shot. That's the way I like to go about those enemies. Uh, let's see, 168 compared to 127. It is not even a competition. I mean, crap, he'll restore all of the MP he used for Flash of White in the next turn. So it's like, why use Fireball 2? It does less damage anyway. In the HP Recovery 2, again, I'd like to get that, but it's not the end of the world. I, I wonder how m many HP Recoveries there are. I'm, I'm sure there's probably a third, maybe even a fourth, but the fourth might be pushing it. Maybe. Alright. For the love of God, please miss. Oh my God. He's dead. Oh my God. Oh. Man, that... That was a... Uh, that was... That was... That escalated quickly. Damn. Oh no, not Mighty Roar. Oh, crap. This battle just went from bad to worse in like two seconds. I mean... 
It would have been even worse if Qesis, I mean not Qesis, if Rufus had been uh stunned. But Qesis was stunned too, and that's where the problem lies because you know Qesis has the armlet. Oh, no, oh, come on, Rufus. I Come on! <sighs> Cole, please kill him. Thank God. <laughs> the power of burning aura. It's amazing. Okay, that was a lot of damage right there. And, he, and we got one HP recovery too. Okay, okay. Is that the second Cyclops I've killed? Might be. I don't know, but now I've got to be careful. Um, you know what? Let's actually move back one spot. Uh, but first, I gotta... Actually, no, just... Eh, yeah. Move back Beatrix one spot. Face this way. And then I'm gonna have Jan uh, heal Beatrix. Just just for an extra bit of experience so that she levels up. Um, other than that, I think the only other thing I'd want to do would be to move Richard. Uh, the question would be where? Do I want him to move back here? To be support? Because I don't... I want to store up a little bit more MP, just so I can go all out. Um, let's see, what is the Cyclops' magic defense? It's actually worse than his defense, so that's a good sign. Um, again, I can't do much with Qesis, so I will... unfortunately that's his last turn with his uh, armlet. So, that sucks. Uh-oh, Fireball 2, that won't be enough to kill Rufus. But he's definitely going to need some healing. And that's why I wanted to move Beatrix back one spot. Because I knew he was really close. And... Dang it! Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Ugh. I mean, we do have three enemies left, which is okay. And I definitely need to take out that Ceratoth now. Just because he keeps stunning everybody. I mean, I thought we had pretty good evasion at this point, especially Cole, but he got stunned too. I guess he wasn't expecting it. It was probably still the 5%. Uh, that's probably over-exaggerating it, but let's see, 67 compared to 116, that is not even a competition. But, who do I go with? Um, uh, the Gem of Light lasts longer. But the gem of life... Uh, I'm going to go with the gem of light first. Um, probably actually would have been more useful to use the gem of light first. Because I think that only lasts one turn. Um, and then I could uh, just start charging up for uh, the other one like right away. Uh, let's see. Beatrix, move back. Get at least some damage on him. At least here, Beatrix can't be, you know, targeted. Just because he's too far away. Now, let's see. What shall a... Oh, I only have a regular Thunderbolt. That's still decent damage. But I know I can do more damage if I were to, say, use Intemporal Light. <laughs> I'm going to use it because this guy is really threatening right now. All right, ooh. I'm not sure if I've used this in battle yet. It's really cool looking though. Okay, Jan, do your damage with the visiting goddess. 293, damn. Okay, I'll take that any day. 294, okay. What? Oh my God, these Cyclopses, they've stepped up their game. They really have. And then, in Temporal Light, unfortunately, can't quite kill it. But we will next turn, no doubt. He might even die off a counter from by attacking Jan. Actually, no, he can't because of the HP recovery, too. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How far can Rufus move? Here? Okay. 209. Goodbye. Na 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 Goodbye 
Um, okay. So we're pretty much done here. Just gotta take out the Wyvern. And unfortunately, I just gotta end my turn because uh, Kolei and Chuesis can't do a thing. Now, where is that Wyvern going to move? Hopefully, it'll physically attack Kiwisis. That wouldn't be that bad, uh, to, be per to be perfectly honest. And he's definitely not going to die off a counter because uh, it's uh, uh, Richard. <laughs> oh, he actually hit. <laughs> That's a shock. Okay. And then you still can't get a guaranteed hit, but he got the hit. Of course he did. Okay, now, for the most part, this turn is basically just for who I want to get the experience. Uh, I actually don't want Cole to finish off the Wyvern, just because he's about to level up anyway. The Wyvern Lord! Ugh, all these surnames. Um, so, I think my, my favorite character to... Not my favorite character, but, like, the character I'd want to... Get the experience most here would probably be Qesis. Uh hopefully he can with the power of a helm splitter. Oh god. I can't have a battle where Rufus dies. That's that's not allowed anymore. Um Ice Bullet 2? No. That's I don't like this. You know what, Kole? You actually will be used this turn just because I'm going to have you use a file if I have one. Um, and I don't. Okay. Well, in this case, I'm sure I have an, a, a strength tonic uh, just to kind of give Kiwisis that extra boost that he needs. And plus two experience, whatever. As long as I get this kill with Kiwisis, it's... Please! Oh my god! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Ugh. Okay, I don't think Beatrix can get the kill anyway, so Jan, just... Just do your worst. I really wish I had Sky Dart right now. That would really help. And, of course, Jan doesn't kill him. Okay. That actually works. I don't mind that. Beatrix needs a kill every now and again. There we go. She's more than just a support character. And I got Helm Splitter again. What do you freaking do? Ooh, 25 experience. That means he, she's really behind on the levels, actually. Um, let's see, Richard. Just move this way because you can and just, just heal yourself. Unfortunately, I, I think I'm starting to get to the point where I should probably bind a heal too just because I need to oh thank god Kiwisis can get the kill after all oh I didn't get the mobility plus one again but that's okay I really only need one and I can get some more later need be um, but the fact I got one is just I can't describe how happy that made me right there. And healing vapors. Okay. And Kole is now level 50. Achievement unlocked. Get a character to level 50. Not really. This is the PSP. Nobody knew what a trophy was. Uh, as long as you don't try and steal it. Oh, yeah. Really? Ah, those freaking elves. Maybe we'll see Buddy the Elf. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, then. Well, you... Oh. Okay. No, it, it's totally because of Lahire. Totally.
Okay. Okay. So, again, we can't really save. So, in, for this particular playthrough, I think I'm going to go with the Alroned Wood. Uh, I have done the Gwygon Mines before, and for the most part, the story remains the same. Just some minor dialogue. However, the battles themselves are a little bit different. Um, so, that's part of the reason I just want to go with it. Um, but again, I will show off the other part eventually. Ooh. Now, since I, I honestly don't think the Alroned wood would take that much time. Um, so I'm going to wait to go to the shop until the next episode. So thank you guys for watching in later days.